We have volume and we are good to go. I'm gonna actually pull my mic a bit closer because I know it's been a little bit quiet in the past. So I apologize about that. So today we are going to be reading an excerpt from The Plant-Based Diet for Beginners, my new book that is out. December 10th, it ships from Amazon, and actually it turns out that Barnes & Noble apparently shipped out some copies. So I know a few of uh, a few of you who are lucky enough to get a copy today, actually. So if you did get a copy, let me know. And also, we're going to be answering some questions in today's live stream, so make sure you go ahead and ask away any questions you might have about the book or about really anything um, plant-based, whole food plant-based, vegan vegetable farming, gardening, vegan pregnancy. As many of you know, Dr. Miller is well along in her pregnancy coming up here on nine months, actually nine months pretty much to the day the book releases. So her baby and our baby is almost due when, a month after my baby. So today we're going to be talking about keeping it whole food plant-based while dining out and make sure you ask away any questions and I will get to answering those intermediary through the <laughs> through the um, through the stream and then also I'll go ahead and answer them at the end. Hopefully we'll finish up by the fourth quarter of the big game tonight so we can all enjoy that. But tonight we're going to be talking about keeping it whole food plant based while ordering out and I'm going to be reading an excerpt from page 12 of the plant-based diet for beginners. This is under the section of when you don't feel like cooking. There's the when you don't feel like cooking. But uh, talk a little bit about packaged foods, talk about some tips and tricks. But uh, for tonight's stream, we are going to be covering ordering at a restaurant. And um, yeah, so here we go. Let's read the excerpt again. If you're reading along, it's on page 12. While purchasing whole food plant-based packaged foods from the grocery store is a bit like a scavenger hunt, ordering food at a restaurant can be more like a dance. Many restaurants now have menus either partly or completely dedicated to vegan items, but many times these vegan items are just as full of salt, oil, and sugar as the regular menu items. So whether you find yourself in a steakhouse for a work outing or at a local vegetarian restaurant, there are a few key tips and tricks to ordering while eating out. Let's cover those. If you know ahead of time that you'll be eating at a particular restaurant, you can check their online menu or call in. Through a simple phone call, you can normally find out if they have anything on the regular menu that will fit your needs or whether the chef would be willing to make a special whole food plant-based entree for you. This route may not work at every restaurant, but you might be surprised by the number of chefs who would love to create a healthy, whole food plant-based meal given enough time to plan ahead. If you don't have the convenience of planning ahead, the best place to look on the restaurant menu is the sides. Most restaurants will have various vegetables and starches that can be steamed or baked without oil and butter. A baked potato topped with steamed broccoli and a side salad Order the dressing on the side to ensure it's oil-free. Not only makes a healthy meal, but also gives you a good chance at having the smallest bill at the table. Again, that was an excerpt from page 12 of the plant-based diet for beginners on ordering at a restaurant. Um, yeah, so I get asked a lot. Gabriel, here's my question. I'm traveling. I drive truck for a living or I have a lot of business outings. How do I stay on a whole food plant-based diet while I'm eating out, while I'm traveling? I have work events, dinner events, and my mom goes through the same thing with her job as uh, in real estate property management. Uh, she has a lot of corporate meetings that she goes to. So there you go. I covered it. Pretty basic and simple there. Uh, but hello, everybody who's tuning in. Thank you so very much. Again, we're going to get to questions. So ask away. You could ask about keeping it whole food plant-based while dining out or anything about the plant-based diet for beginners or really about anything in general. But uh, so my big takeaways when eating out, and, and here's my general rule. I'll just tell you, you know, this is helpful if you <clears throat> have to eat out. But um, in general, Dr. Miller and I don't really eat out much. Um, for the pure fact that it can kind of be a hassle to go through those steps that I covered. Those steps work, and those are steps that I've done, that we've done, that 100% will work. They won't work at 100% of restaurants and places, but they will work at uh, various restaurants, given the right chef, given the right, uh, you know, as long as you give them time, they're normally pretty accommodating. But uh, what we have found is that uh, we just enjoy, you know, after, if you go through the recipes in the plant-based diet for beginners, 
75 healthy whole food plant-based recipes, you'll probably find that, hey, there's a lot of great recipes in there. And unless you have to eat out, um, there's really no need to. So in general, our rule of thumb is we're normally eating at home. We're normally having a, a freshly cooked meal because that's really how you're going to have the healthiest um, option or the healthiest meal. But I do understand. And, and here's our other thing. If we're going to go out and we don't want to go through the hassle of it, you know, we may understand that it'll be more of a celebratory meal. Where we're going to keep it vegan, but understand that it may not be <clears throat> 100% the healthy option. That's not something we do every night. That's not something we do every week. And that's not even something we do every month. That may be a once every three month thing of a celebratory vegan meal. But if you're someone who is trying to lose weight, trying to regain their health, trying to reverse chronic diseases like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity, then you are someone who's going to be on a whole food plant-based diet 24-7. And um, because guess what? That one celebratory meal uh, could be the one that puts you over the edge. And so we want to make sure that we're eating healthy, whole food, plant-based all the time, especially if we're someone who is uh, predisposed or already going through some health conditions. So the big things there are, number one, to plan ahead. I mentioned it so many times, especially like when talking about the book, but plan ahead, <clears throat> plan ahead. If you know you have a work outing, and that's really the number one excuse I hear, excuse uh, from a lot of people is, Gabriel, I just got off the, you know, I just got off the train. I had a workout and I couldn't get out of. I had to go there. My boss was hosting it. I had to do it. I had to be there. I had to eat that steak. I had to have all that butter on those rolls. I had to eat those 12 breadsticks. I had to do this. I had to do that. Had to, had to, had to. Well, here's the thing. You didn't have to. And um, yeah, everybody has a bad day. And, and I'm not saying that you can't come back tomorrow and have a, a good day from that. But to plan ahead to think about it is going to keep you from waking up the next day and feeling horrible and regressing on the hard work that you've done, whether that was three days, three weeks, or three months, or three years. So here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to plan ahead. So if I know that the workouting is at a certain steakhouse with two names and that you can't walk out of without a bill that is at least three digits, well, then I'm going to call ahead and I'm going to say, hello, I'm a vegan. That covers one. So they'll understand that. You know, Whether you identify as a vegan or a plant-based eater, you just say I'm a vegan, um, but I'm not someone who can have oil. Well, I don't recommend that you go ahead and, you know, we, there are people that have legitimate allergies, but here's, it is, it is severe. Cause guess what? Uh, you may not be allergic to oil, but here's the deal. Oil will clog your arteries. It will lead to heart disease. It can lead to type two diabetes and it will lead to obesity. And if you're allergic to dying of the chronic diseases that are plaguing the modern world, then you might be allergic to oil. Uh, but you don't have to say that you're allergic. You just say, hello, I am I can, my doctor, here you go, you say this, my doctor has mandated that I not have any oil or butter or animal products, and it is life-threateningly severe. I understand that we may not be able to keep the contaminants from this or that, and, um, and I understand that some things are going to be cooked in similar vicinities, but here is what I am asking, and here is what I am pleading that we can get done. I'm looking for some sort of a starch, a sweet potato, a baked potato, uh, could be rice, but I'm asking, I'm saying, I'm asking you right now, is it going to be cooked in butter? Is it going to be sauteed in oil? Are you going to smother it with some sort of animal fat, animal veg, animal broth? Um, and if you are, let me know so I stay away from it. But I also want to know, can I, if I'm calling ahead, hey, the meal's tonight, I'm calling in the morning, and or the meal is on Friday and it's a Wednesday, I want to know, can I have that baked potato just baked without the butter, without the sour cream, without the cheese, or can I have that sweet potato without the cinnamon, sugar, butter, and all that? Can I just have it baked? Can I just have it steamed? Is that possible? And most of the time, given the you know, given that you're not calling 20 seconds before you show up to the restaurant, <coughs> They're going to be able to accommodate you in your request. So, hey, there we go. We found a starch, whether that's rice, brown rice, whether that's a uh, sweet potato, whether that's a baked potato. And guess what? You can find that at any steakhouse, at any uh, seafood place, at any, I don't know, any, any place you want. You're going to be able to find that. And then next we're going to say, all right, well, how about some vegetables? I see that you have some green beans on your menu. I see that you have some broccoli on your menu. I see that you have some cauliflower on your menu. Can I get it? without having it smothered in butter or sauteed in oil or covered in animal, uh, you know, whatever. Can I just have it steamed? Can I just have it steamed or roasted with, without any oil, you know? 
And a lot of times they'll say, yeah, we can just steam it for you. When you come in, please remember, rem remind us of who you are and that you had made this request. And we're going to make sure that the back staff and the chef and everybody is, is aware that we're not going to come, we're not going to come within five feet of your food with oil or butter. And, um, and there you go. So you got your starch, you got your vegetable and you might not feel super comfortable with that. You might think, you know, you go to a work event and people are going to look at you weird, which if it was me, right? And again, we're all in different uh, walks in our life and we're all in different places. If it was me, I'd use it as a learning experience. I'd say, Bob, you're my boss. Karen, you're my boss. And you're making fun of me for eating this wonderful sweet potato with a side of steamed broccoli and steamed green beans. It's a wonderful dish. You're making fun of me. Well, I got off my medication, well, I lost 50 pounds this year, well, I've reversed some of my chronic diseases, and you're sitting there 295 pounds and three ounces and on 15 medications. So you know what? You're a superior. I understand it, Karen, but Bob, Karen, here's the deal. I don't want to hear it. This is what you should be eating because I don't want to be as sick as you, so why would I want to eat what you're eating? Maybe that's what you say. Maybe that's not what you say. That is completely up to you, but you can control that situation. Now, here's the thing. Say you are in that situation and you do not feel comfortable of making, you know, that's why we're calling ahead. We don't want to make a scene or you can make a scene, uh, but we want to make sure that the staff is well-prepared. We want to make sure the chefs are well-prepared. We want to make sure that everybody's well-prepared, excluding yourself. And um, because, you know, if you call ahead, you make those arrangements ahead of time, then you just, when they come, you know, your server comes and you say, you know what, I called ahead with the chef. I'm, I'm Gabriel. I had, you know, we had made some, um, so, some reservations and talked about it. They'll say, oh, Gabriel, great. We've got your meal. The chef's prepared. And it, and they'll, you know, everybody else at that table will say, wow, what a big shot. Had his own special, had a, her own special meal already and prepared and, at that point, you say, okay, well, you know what? We're ready to roll, and I've got, uh, I've got the best meal in the house. But if you don't feel 100% comfortable doing that, that is okay. You can always look ahead of time and see, oh, they've got four different salads. And if you want to feel like, hey, I want to order something everybody else has, you can always order a salad, sans the meat, and sans the cheese and the feta or whatever else animal products they're going to throw on it. But uh, you can get the salad. And normally it's going to be kind of just the salad greens with the vegetables and say, I'll have the dressing on the side. And sometimes you can say, Hey, do you know what? Do you have a, do you know, I see you have a balsamic dressing, but I know you have a ton of oil in there or you've got this dressing. Is there a chance you just have some balsamic vinegar and maybe some maple syrup back there we can just throw together? Or again, we're planning ahead. So we're thinking about what's going to be happening while we're dining out at the restaurant, keeping it whole food plant-based you may just bring ahead a time a little uh, Tupperware, a tiny Tupperware with your favorite dressing. That could be the Esselstyn's 321 dressing. That could be the lemon poppy seed dressing that I shared out of the plant-based diet for beginners today. It could really be any of those and you'll be well on your way and, and fine. And uh, you'll be, I would say fat and happy, but you'll be trim and happy uh, eating out on a whole food plant-based diet. So I hope that was helpful. If we have any specific questions here, let me know. Um, the big key is, right, <clears throat> and, I, and I did cover it. I read if you're just tuning in, you can always go back to the start of the video once this is uploaded. Um, is you know Here's the deal is, is a lot of people say, oh, I just order off the vegan menu. I go out to eat all the time, but it's okay and it's healthy and it's good for me because I order off the vegan menu. I go to the vegan place or I do – you know, and so, and, and so here's the big thing is that um, – and, and I'll just read or just, you know, read it here for a second again. Um, you know, many restaurants now have menus either partly or completely dedicated to vegan items. But many times these vegan items are just as full of salt, oil and sugar as the regular menu items. So you do have to be careful when talking and when thinking about going out to eat, dining out and um, ordering just purely off a vegan menu because unless you're doing it as a celebratory meal, right? You understand that, hey, there's going to be some salt or salt. There's going to be oil. There's going to be sugar in it. It's going to be vegan. It's going to be something that maybe you do once every month or once every three months. But if that is something you're doing once every week, three times a week, four times a week, once every other week, it can be a pro become a problem. And because those foods, just because it says vegan, right, we've covered it many times, it does not mean it's made from whole foods, and it does not mean that it is healthy plant-based, especially when they're drenching it in salt, in oil, covering it in salt, and sprinkling it with sugar. And a sprinkle is not a, just a little sprinkle, it's glug, glug, glug. So, 
there you have it. Let's see if we have any questions here. Oh, oh one thing I did want to mention to everybody, we're going to keep talking about dining out, keeping it whole food plant baseball dining out. We're going to keep going here for a little bit. Uh, so you don't have to leave. We're going to keep talking. But um, I did want to mention the Kindle version of the plant-based diet for beginners is now out. You can get that on Amazon. You can get it wherever you get your Kindle. Uh, also, the paperback version ships from Amazon December 10th. So just less, oh, just a week and one, and one day away, one, one week away from tomorrow. And uh, I just wanted to say, if you're watching this and you've gotten the book, whether the Kindle version, whether the paperback version, wherever you got it, if you could please, please, please leave a review, um, whether on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, wherever you got that book, especially online, it really helps. We're trying to get as many reviews as possible, honest reviews, right? If you find that the book's helpful to you, let us know. Because as people are coming to the book that aren't familiar with, say, myself or this community around us here, um, they may, they, they're going to be looking at those reviews to say, hey, is this, is this beneficial to me as a plant-based uh, beginner? I'm looking to get on a plant-based diet. And I really, again, I want this book to touch as many lives as possible, to be a big help. It is the handbook that I wish I would have had as I was adopting a plant-based diet, as I was helping my mom, my dad, my sister, my in-laws, my cousins, my grandparents adopt plant-based diets. And, um, and I wish I would have had this handbook, this book that sh talks about what is a plant-based diet? How can we successfully eat and live on a plant-based diet coming from the horrible standard American diet with things like talking about how to order out at a restaurant, tips and tricks on keeping it simple, way, you know, the nutrition questions, the protein questions, the carbohydrate questions, the always sometimes never foods, and um, just the things I really feel are helpful to anybody who's beginning a plant-based diet. So please, 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 I don't ask much from anybody. Um, I'm a simple vegan farmer on our one acre vegan farm, but I do ask that if you do get the book, um, I please ask that you leave a review. It would really mean the world to me. Thank you so much for doing that. All right, let's see <clears throat> what questions we have. Looks like everybody tuned in. Love it. Sherry says, <coughs> excuse me, I, I lost my voice last week. Many of you know, and I'm just now getting it back and I should have brought some water in the office. Uh, but hey, I forgot to mention, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Uh, back to the grind today, back on the One Acre Vegan Farm. Dr. Miller and I had a wonderful time. If you didn't see the live stream that I did with Dr. Miller the day before Thanksgiving, uh, no, two days Two days before Thanksgiving, uh, it was really awesome. We talked all about a whole food plant-based pregnancy, how she's doing, any questions that anybody had. So yeah, it, and Twinkle, the 16-year-old vegan chihuahua even made an appearance. So had a wonderful time with our family and friends, got to see all of our cousins, all of our, um, you know, the in-laws, uh, my wife's side of the family, my side of the family. It was just a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, busy time. It's not like we go back to Indiana, drive 13 hours and just rest and relax. You know, it's a lot of work and I, you know, worked most of the time, but, uh, it's good to be back at the one acre vegan farm. We'll say that Sherry has the Kindle version and can't wait for the hard copy. The paperback version shipping very soon. Sherry, I'm so excited for you to get, get it. Brenda said hi from New Zealand. Hey, Brenda. Mishma said you rock. Well, you know what? You rock. You rock. Laura said, my mom is a flight attendant and plans ahead. She takes food with her. Yes. That's a wonderful way to go about it. And that's something I guess we'll just cover briefly here, right? We talk about how to order at a restaurant, you know, given any other, pretty, pretty much any restaurant, as long as you plan ahead, uh, you can normally order something from the menu, whether a baked potato, steamed sweet potato, um, and you can really kind of work with some of those side dishes, but <clears throat> sometimes it just doesn't work out. And you know, given a work outing, it's going to be a little different, but say you're just going out with family and friends and it's more about the fellowship than it is about the food. And that's something that we find as we're getting on a plant-based diet or really, you know, if you're coming from a food addiction side of things, the standard American diet, food addiction, right? Of salt, oil, sugar, animal products up out the ears. Um, you know, the big, the big thing is we, we think we get around this, go to this restaurant, pay a ton of money, to eat food that's killing us and to hopefully be around people that we enjoy. So how do you do that on a plant-based diet? Well, you can always go out fellowship and be around people that you love, family, friends, and uh, have a great time. But you don't, number one, you don't have to eat when you're out there. You could eat before and you could just have a good time, but that doesn't always work. And I know there are certain restaurants out there that will bring you chips for free with some salsa for free. And uh, whether you ate at home before or whether you did not, you will have a basket or two of chips if you go there unprepared and do not plan ahead. So 
And because you get a little bit hungry after, you know, those those 20 minutes of sitting there, you know, you had a big meal, four potatoes, steamed broccoli and green beans and salad before you got there. But, you know, those chips just I'm hungry again. So, hey, I've been there. So here's what we're doing. We're going to think, all right, hey, that it wasn't a good plan to eat ahead at a restaurant like that. So maybe I bring something with me, you know, doesn't always work. Some people say, oh, the health code violation. Well, guess what? That never stopped my dad from bringing another bag of cheese to Hacienda, a Mexican restaurant we would go to because they wouldn't put enough cheese on his sm- cheese smothered burrito. So, you know, if you're going to do that on the standard American diet, bring along some, I know, I know, and he's not the only one. So I know that. But uh, if people are going to bring along cheese or extra sour cream because the restaurant won't put it on there, then there's no problem with you bringing along a baked potato or a steamed sweet potato or some steamed broccoli uh, and making yourself a little meal because guess what? Everybody else is paying. You can leave a tip if they're going to clean the table up for you. That's okay. You're not going to have the health department pulled on you. And that might be different in some circumstances. So don't quote me on it. Don't, you know, don't say, well, Gabriel said I could do it. Well, you know, <laughs> be reasonable. But, uh, but yeah, you can always bring something ahead, and especially if you're someone who is a habitual traveler, then uh, planning ahead and bringing something ahead is uh, a wonderful way to go about it. Hey, Christy, thanks for coming in. Lorna said, love your ideas of eating out. Well, thank you, Lorna. I appreciate that. Let's see here. Sherry said, I prefer to eat my own food. Love Korean, but I veganize the recipes. Love to hear that. Laura said... <coughs> Steak, butter, and rolls used to sound good to me, but then she went on to add some puking emojis. So yeah, you know, it's it's crazy. I actually had I I wanted to cover this right now is I actually had a conversation with someone today who is a good friend, a very good friend, someone who knows I eat a plant based diet, someone who knows I wrote the book a uh, book on eating a plant based diet, uh, but someone who does not eat a plant based diet, someone who is uh, not the healthiest individual I know, but someone and someone who still advocates not eating a healthy diet, right, um, or still at least prescribes to the notion that they can eat a unhealthy diet and uh, be okay. Well, they kind of know it's not good for their health. Uh, but they're saying, well, don't you? Here was the question. Gabriel, don't you ever just miss that steak? Don't you just, you got, you know, I know you started on a plant-based diet. I know you had broke your back. I know you lost 100 pounds. I know it did so much good for you. But don't you just miss that big old piece of steak or that big piece of fish or that big glass of cow milk or you know, and here's and here's the thing. That's a legitimate question because as you are, as as some people are thinking about adopting a plant based diet, one of their big worries is is what they're gonna miss. They're like, yeah, I know I'm gonna cure my di- type two diabetes and get rid of my obesity and reverse my heart disease, but I'm gonna miss that steak. I'm gonna miss those animal products on my plate. And and as crazy as it is, we've been so indoctrinated in that that some people aren't willing to to regain their health in the in the belief that they're going to miss the animal products too bad. And so uh, here's my response to it is this. It's to say, you know what? I'm sure as I was getting started, it's been a while now, but I may have, you know, missed a few things here or there for a brief second. But as I was eating a plant-based diet, as I cut the oil out, as I cut the dairy out, as I cut the meat, milk, eggs out, uh, it wasn't about it, it. It's you know, it, at the beginning, it's like, all right, I cut that out, so good. But then it began to then it began to have the thought process of, now I'm adding in the sweet potatoes, the baked potatoes, the brown rice, the lentils, the quinoa, the corn, the steamed broccoli, the steamed green beans, the Brussels sprouts, the sal, you know, the 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 fruit, the nice creams, the bananas, the pineapple, the mango, the jackfruit, these, these wonderful plant-based things that I never had ever even considered to build a diet around because I was so preoccupied with the, the meat, milk, egg, and dairy that was, uh, sit, you know, and fish that was sitting there on my plate, the four brown, four brown foods that I had eaten for so long. But, but as I began adopting that plant-based diet and adding more and more, you know, getting more familiar with the plant-based foods, the whole plant foods, um, I really just didn't miss the meat, milk, eggs. And so here's what I told him. I said, you know what? I understand that it's a worry that you may believe that you're going to miss some of those animal products. You, you think you're going to miss the steak. You think you're going to miss that butter. You think you're going to miss the fish. You think you're going to miss the chicken. But as soon as you really implement that plant-based diet, that healthy whole food plant-based diet, as a beginner, as a novice, as an expert, as you implement it, 
your health improves so drastically, so quickly, and you begin to experience a way of health, a way of feeling that you had never, I mean, it never crossed my mind that I would ever feel that healthy, that I would ever feel that rejuvenated, that um, that energetic ever again, especially coming from where I was, as breaking my back, 100 pounds overweight, ending my football career. Um, but I did, and, and and as soon as I started to feel that way, as soon as I started to 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 realize that it wasn't just uh, oh I'm adding a few sweet potatoes and some broccoli, but it's it's I'm completely changing the outlook on my life. As soon as that began to um, to unfold by what I was putting on my plate three times a day, I never looked back, and, and that's as simple as I can say it. Is you know what you feel so good eating these plant based foods and eating a whole food plant based diet that. That as a beginner, you may think I'm going to miss this, I'm going to miss that, but you get started, you get rocking and rolling with it. Um, there's nothing in the world that make you go back to it. Nothing, nothing at all. And uh, that may be hard to hear. It may be hard to understand as someone who might be a beginner on a you know beginning or thinking about beginning a plant based diet. But anybody I know, everybody I know, I'm sure there's many in the comments here that have been eating a plant based diet for any number of years, any certain number of time. That you know, there's just Nothing tastes as good as this feels. Nothing tastes as good as losing 100 pounds and regaining my health and not having to worry about my back hurting chronically 24-7. Nothing tastes as good as that feels. And I hope everybody gets to experience that. That's why we wrote the book, The Plant-Based Diet for Beginners. That's why we've. That's why I've put so much time and energy in this community and helping everybody is because, because <laughs> the, the health that I've regained, the the just it's just the the amazing results that I've had that seem amazing are average. You can do it. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it today if you choose to. If you choose to implement simple, simple, simple uh, plant-based meals into your diet built around the simple starchy staples, food like rice, beans, potatoes, corn, quinoa, oats, and sweet potatoes, foods that people and populations have built diets around for thousands of years that did not experience the chronic diseases that are plaguing the modern world like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity, and those people that did not experience those chronic diseases that built diets around simple starchy staples also lived long and healthy lives without being in and out of hospitals hooked up to machines on every pill potion and prescription under the sun so when you understand that it's pretty simple you figure out how to go out to eat how to dine out and make a few simple changes because nothing nothing tastes as good as a healthy whole food plant-based diet feels i hope that answered your question I went off on a little bit of a tangent there, but that's okay. Gene says, yes, people have so many excuses. They do, um, but everybody seems to start somewhere. So you know, we're all on our own path there. Cindy says, hi, Gabriel. Gabriel says, hi, Cindy. Thanks for tuning in. I did want to mention, Plant-Based Diet for Beginners, out for pre-order on Amazon. You can pre-order it now. It also shipped from Barnes & Noble, it sounds like. But hey, if you do get the book, please, 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 please leave a review. I don't ask much of anybody here in the community other than you like and share the videos if you find them helpful. But also, if you do get the book, it would mean the world to me if you leave a review, especially if you found it helpful. Just want to pop that in there. Sherry says, I tell people that I suffer from the disorder, dopamine impairment disorder. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Jennifer said, if the bosses are poking fun, just say my lifestyle style is saving your company in health costs, time off due to sickness and so much more. That's so true, uh, Jennifer. You know, we were talking about eating out, keeping it whole food plant based while dining out and, uh, you know, worried about, oh, a boss is going to make fun of you. A superior is going to make fun of you. But here's the deal. You get, you, you're losing weight. You're regaining your health. You're getting off prescriptions. You're, you're, you know, reversing chronic diseases. You're saving them money. Just like Jennifer said, you're keeping health costs down and, and you should not be the one they're making fun of hundred percent. Love it. Love it. Love it. Kathy said, I often get that looks so good when I get something that matches whole food, plant-based, no oil. That's exactly right. You know, we talked about, we read a, um, an excerpt from the new book, plant-based diet for beginners on page 12. If I recall, Yes, on ordering at a restaurant. And, you know, here's here was the last little um, sentence there. You know, there's a little section here on it. But a baked potato topped with steamed broccoli and a side salad, parentheses, order the dressing on the side to ensure it's truly oil-free, 
in parentheses, not only makes a healthy meal, but also gives you a good chance at having the smallest bill at the table. So not only do you have something that looks delicious, tastes delicious, but you're also going to go home with full pockets, a full belly without filling out. And, um, you know, you might be the envy of the whole table. I found that to be the case many, many times. Sherry says California balsamic has, <coughs> excuse me, wonderful balsamic vinegars. I carry them with me for salads and veggies. Yes, that's a great thing. I know people carry, I don't, but I know people who do carry little sriracha packets with them or little sriracha bottles with them. Do the same thing with balsamic vinegars and much healthier, uh, you know, sriracha is full of salt but I still like to use it on the top of my food. I don't use it in recipes. I use it on top of meals. But uh, yeah, Sherry, a great idea, keeping those, <coughs> those vinegars with you. Again, I should have brought some water here in the office. Kathy says, had a vegan burger, had a vegan burger covered in cheese, sent it back. Well, that's a good option. Send it, send it back. You, you know, you order something and it comes out not as expected. Well, you know, you can always get something. You know, be careful. You, know, you don't want to make the back staff mad, but uh, yeah. Let's see here. Angela says, can't wait to get mine. I'm guessing Angela is talking about the plant-based diet for beginners. So excited that ships December 10th. Really stoked about it being out there. And again, if you do get it, I would love a review, whether on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Uh, let's see. Sherry says, left your review. Thank you so much, Sherry. That's amazing to hear. And if you do leave a review... Uh, Lorna says, her review is there. Thank you so much, Lorna. If you do leave a review, let me know. Shoot me a message. Let me know. Um, oh, a, a one thing I did forget to mention, and I and I apologize it, about it now, but I did talk to my publisher. So if you're on here, please listen. I did talk to my publisher, and I have the chance to have uh, the ebook sent out to 50 of you that um, you get it for free. Whether you got the Kindle already, you know, it's only six bucks. So don't, don't be upset about it. But here's the deal. Uh, it, you can get the, the e-version for free, uh, given that you go through it. If you find that you enjoyed it, you leave a review on Amazon. Um, and that would be mean the world to me. So if you do want to do that, if you do want to get a e-version of the plant-based diet for beginners, and I would recommend getting a paperback if you're going to get one to keep in the kitchen or to give as gifts, but Hey, why not grab an e-version? And if you want to leave a review for me, that'd be great. Shoot me a message and I should get back to you in the next day or two. But I got 50 spots, only 50 spots. There's actually like, uh, you know, there was like a hundred on everybody on here just a second ago. And so I, uh, I don't, I don't want you to be upset. And if you tuned in earlier, I apologize, but 50 spots, send me a message. The first 50 of you, um, that are willing to, you know, go through it. If you enjoy it and you leave a good review and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot you the e-version. So let me know. Thank you so much to everybody who has ordered, who has picked it up. You know, it means the world to me. Um, I did, like I said, I just got that, just got the, the the editors to be able to do that. So Sonny says, I need this book. Well, Sonny, it's on Amazon. It's on Barnes & Noble. It's on Angus and Robertson in Australia. You can get it. It's, um, I wanted to keep it at a reasonable price. $15 for the paperback version. $15 for the handbook I wish I would have had as I was adopting a plant-based diet, losing 100 pounds. And I, had the, and I was helping my family, my, my mother, my sister, my father, my in-laws, my cousins, my friends, uh, adopting a plant-based diet, regaining their health. And so um, I wish I would have had it to, you know, for a hundred bucks, I could have got it for what? A few people, a good amount of people and uh, got it sent out, shipped out to them to really help um, encourage them. I know many of you are ordering the book for Christmas presents, holiday presents, and I'm I'm so, 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 so grateful for it because that's really what the goal was with the book. It was to, to change as many lives as possible. And if you're getting it as a book to help someone change someone's life, that's right in line with what we were hoping for. So let's see here. Karen says, hi from New Jersey. Can't wait to get the book. So excited for you to get the book. Uh, Sarah says, thanks, Gabriel. I have just been wondering about eating this eating out. You're amazing. Thing. You're so welcome, Sarah. You're amazing. You're amazing. Sherry says, fail to plan, plan to fail. That's right. You got to plan ahead if you want to uh, You want to succeed in, in almost anything. Vishma says, what are your thoughts on gluten? Well, my thoughts on gluten are that if you do have celiac disease, then you should stay away from it. But if you do not have celiac disease, then gluten and wheat products in general have been the base of many pop, uh, many healthy diets for people in populations. I just had a roll, um, a whole wheat roll. Uh, just that we had a, a birthing class. Dr. Miller's, uh, me and Dr. Miller did. Well, mostly for Dr. Miller, but I'm there to help, right? Support. But uh, I had a roll right afterwards, a whole wheat roll. So <clears throat> whole wheat vegan roll, oil-free roll. And um, yeah, so if you're not 
don't have celiacs, then gluten is more than fine to have. You know, we eat whole wheat pasta. We have whole wheat breads. Uh, here is one thing I will say is that most of the time when you're talking about gluten products, they're going to be a little bit more refined than, say, the whole grain form. Like if you were just going to take some wheat berries and boil them or, you know, and have them like rice, that's going to be a little different. So they are a bit more calorie dense. And if you're someone trying to lose weight, then you do want to be aware of the calorie density of breads and pastas. As I was losing 100 pounds at an average of one pound a week for two years, so that was about 100 weeks and losing 100 pounds. I did cut back on pastas and breads to about once a week just because they're great and they're a healthy addition. We eat them a couple times a week now that we've gotten down to a healthy body weight, but they are a bit calorie dense. So losing weight, I would stick to more of whole foods like sweet potatoes, baked potatoes, rice, corn, quinoa in their whole plant form. Hope that's helpful. But hey, if you're not gluten tolerant, you don't have celiacs, then it's a great addition to a plant-based diet. Amy says, do you ever drink alcohol? Well, Amy, I do not recommend starting if you are getting onto a plant-based diet. It is not something that is needed on a plant-based diet. I know there are some professionals in the field that recommend drinking a certain glass of a certain color of wine once a night for certain properties that can actually be found in grapes and uh, just fresh fruit. And so um, I do not recommend starting to drink wine or drink, you know, having a glass of alcohol a night. It's not something I would recommend. And it's not something I think that anybody should be recommending, uh, honestly. Uh, but can you eat a healthy plant-based diet while still consuming small to moderate amounts of alcohol? You sure can. Are you going to be at your maximum, maximum, maximum healthy body level um, while drinking alcohol? Mm you're probably going to be cutting short a little bit. So it's not something I recommend starting if you haven't, but it is something that you could continue doing in small amounts while following a healthy plant-based diet. Um, you're going to be okay. Do I have alcohol ever? Um, well, I've been known to have a few fruit trees and fruit bushes in the backyard and making some fruit wine. And so I will break open a bottle of wine once every three to four months and have a glass. So very rarely on a very rare special occasions. Sherry says, everybody needs this book. Thank you so much, Sherry. I'm really, I'm really so glad that you're, you found it helpful. Let's see here. <clears throat> Jean says, whole food plant-based, no oil. Yummy. I agree. I agree. It's delicious. Rebecca says, let them watch how they butcher the, yeah, I know it's, it's sad. It's sad. Gloria gave a heart. Well, Gloria, a heart to you too. Heart to you too. Let's see here. Um, all right. Julie says, Gabriel, uh, I have loved your cookbook so far. I have an issue just recently. I'm new to this lifestyle and I am finding my family is not very supportive of it. They were trying to go out to eat just this week and they said I should just eat regular for a meal and stop being so picky. How can I deal with family that is not supportive of this lifestyle? They say, say I am no fun anymore since I can't eat anything. It's hard and I'm not sure what to say to them. It can be difficult when they we are in a culture that celebrates with food. Yes, 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 yes. And I was not quoting anything that she didn't quote there. So Julie, wonderful questions. And uh, yeah, so here's the deal. I would recommend following the recommendations that I gave out of the book, you know, plan ahead, call the chef, call the restaurant, see what they can do without oil, whole food plant based, right? Baked potato, steamed sweet potato, steamed broccoli, steamed green beans on the side. You know, you can really get creative and have a really great meal. But how do you deal? And so that's the easy part, right? That's the easy part. You can get on a phone and uh, in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can figure that all out. But how do you deal with, you know, Uncle Bob or Aunt Kim or Grandma or Grandpa or Cousin Bill or Cousin Becky and you know, how do you deal with that? Well, here's how I think about it in the broad, um, in the, in the broad scheme of things. And, and I hope this helps. And I hope this is, um, this is helpful to, to, to many more, but here's how we think about it. Right. So <clears throat> they're talking about eating regular and you're no fun to be around. Well, well, here's my, my quick one, right? And I don't know what you said. You have an issue recently that caused you to go whole food plant-based and, and I, and I'm sorry that you had to go through something to get there, but I'm glad you're here. Um, here's what I say. You know what? Uncle Buck and Aunt Becky, I always pick on Uncle Buck and Aunt Becky. You say I'm no fun when we eat out. You say that I should just eat regular tonight. I should stop being so picky. Well, Uncle Buck and Aunt Becky, and I understand if you're just getting started, Julie, that you may not have this repertoire, um, or these, you know, experiences right now, but, but here, here's, here's where I would be at. You know what, Uncle Buck and Aunt Becky, 
I've been whole food plant based for three months, six months, nine months, a year, you know, wherever you're at, three weeks, wherever you're at. Not only has my blood pressure gone down to healthy levels, I'm not on my medication anymore. Um, I got off my di- type 2 diabetes medication. My body's creating insulin, you know, creating everything it needs. Um, I've lost 15 pounds in the past three months, two months, how, you know, wherever you're at. Um, and you know what? I feel better, more energetic than I ever have, Uncle Buck. And, you know, I know that you'd appreciate it if I ate regular around you and I wasn't so picky, but but here's the deal. If you want me to be, you know, you talk about I'm no fun to be around. Well, guess what, Uncle Buck? That's going to be a problem because with my new healthy whole food plant-based diet, I'm going to be around for a long time. Not only is my plaque and arteries through my vessel, blood vessels and, you know, my heart, improving. I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm not out of breath as often as I was or anymore. Um, I'm going to be around for a long time. And and you know what? I, I hope the same thing for you, Uncle Buck. And, and Aunt Becky, I know you're on 12 different medications because guess what? You spent all dinner talking about how you've gained 15 pounds since your doctor put you on those three new potions and pills and subscriptions and uh, prescriptions. And, uh, you know, and you told everybody about it. So, so you know what you can, you can, you don't have to be so aggressive about it, but you know, you've taught, you've picked on me so much, uncle Buck and aunt Becky, you know, you say I'm being picky and I'm no fun to be around. Well, you know what? It's no fun to be around you when you talk about your achy back, your, your hurting knees and that 15 pounds that you put on since your doctor put you on that prescription because you're eating a crappy diet. So you know what? I'm not pushing it on anybody. I'm not telling anybody they have to do this or should do this. But here's the deal. When I'm going out to eat, I'm going to order a healthy whole food plant-based oil-free dinner because it's not about being picky. It's about being healthy. And as great as I'm feeling right now, Uncle Buck and Aunt Becky, I would never wish it on anybody, my worst enemy, that they would have to eat the crap that you're putting in your body because I know how it makes you feel. And I know how much it's shortening your life. And I know how horrible you feel when you go to bed, when you have swollen ankles, when you wake up because of the side effects of the prescriptions you're on because of the crappy food you're putting in your body. And I know that I just started doing this. I've only begun a plant-based diet, right? If this is Julie, you're just getting started here. I know maybe I just got started a few weeks ago, but I feel better than I have for decades. I've lost a few pounds. I haven't had to worry about it. And I really, you know what? It's 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 not so much your concern to pick on it, but you know what? It should be your concern, Uncle Buck and Aunt Becky, because whether or not you think I'm no fun going out to eat, whether you not you think it's uh, I should just go back to regular food, I'm feeling better than I ever have. And I wish you did too. And uh, I'm not going to yell at you for eating the crappy food that made me sick, that's continuing to make you sick. And I would hope that you would have the same respect and the same um, understanding as I'm eating a healthy plant-based diet. Now you could go about that route. You could also say, you know what? If <laughs> if you don't want to be so confrontational, which if you couldn't tell, I do enjoy it. Um, you could also, you know, get them a copy of the book or something, you know, just and, and not maybe if you don't even get them a copy of the book, maybe you just have it to say, you know what, here's why here's the here's the type two diabetes section. Here's the heart disease section. Here's the obesity. Here's the weight loss section. That's why um, if you want, <laughs> excuse me, if you wanted a bit of that in your repertoire. Um, but but then the other thing is, here's the deal. If the people that you're around, family or friends, and it can be tough, it can be tough, don't don't get me wrong there, uh, if they're not supportive of you regaining your health, losing weight, and getting off medications, then uh, you know what? Because it's not as much fun and because uh, you're being picky, then uh, you know what? Maybe the, there needs to be a little bit of a, um, a break from going out to eat for a few days. Um, and, and here's the other thing, people. I, I, I get up because I, you know, I get fired up, but here's the other thing. If Uncle Buck and Aunt Becky, the only time that they can be around you, that they can fellowship with their family and friends, is at a steakhouse while they stuff their face with artery clogging animal products and type 2 diabetes, you know, intramyocellular cellular fat filled, you know, butter and sour cream. The, and she's the only time that they can fellowship and have a good time with their family and friends is while eating out at restaurants. Then, uh, you know what? Maybe we need to step back and say, hey, you know what? <laughs> you go there. Maybe after dinner, you stop by my house and, and we have some, we have play some games or, you know, we'll, we'll play a couple hands of cards or, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's kind of the, the paradigm shift that we kind of have to have. We're always kind of looking at things like this. Like the only time we can go out and have fun is when we're eating and filling our face with crappy foods and, you know, clogging our arteries. Uh, but here's the deal. We can have fun. 
with, uh, you know, a glass of water and uh, a couple hands of cards, playing some euchre, uh, playing some hand and foot, playing different things, just like we did this past holiday season. We didn't have to have um, all the uh, standard American diet fare um, filling our faces with it to enjoy each other's company. So just a few recommendations there, Julie. I'm sorry you're going through it. I'm cheering you on. And I just want you to know there's a community surrounding you here um, that have gone through the same thing you have. And uh, as you get going with it, as you experience more benefits, as you have more momentum going, you're going to feel more confident in saying, you know what? It doesn't matter. You say I'm picky. Well, guess what? I lost 15 pounds. I'd rather be picky, lose 15 pounds and eat whatever I want while it's whole food plant-based than worry about you calling me picky, Uncle Buck and Aunt Becky. So I hope that's helpful. Amy says, I'm so thankful for you and your positive attitude. Well, thank you, Amy. I hope I stayed positive in that little bit of a rant. Courtney's... Courtney says, I'm so seriously so excited to start. Well, I'm so excited for you to start, Courtney. I am cheering you on. Mary Jean says, I so agree. After three months, my brain fog lifted. It's amazing. So excited to hear that. That's that's quite amazing, Mary Jean. Sherry says, my daughter and her husband live with me. They are not whole food plant-based. No problem. That's right. So hopefully, Sherry, though, that very soon that they do get on that whole food plant-based diet. I'm cheering you on through that. I'm excited to hear what you have to say about, you know, in six months when they've, uh, you know, they've gone to the, they've, they've left the dark side and entered uh, the light of the whole food plant-based diet. Eric says, I wish I did it before. I feel great. Don't miss meat or any animal foods. Love to hear it, Eric. I'm cheering you on, man. That's awesome. Angela says, I've been eating whole food plant-based for a year and freaking fell off the wagon this month. This book can't come soon enough as I'm going right back on it. Angela, you know what? I did a video and I'm, and if you're still on here, Angela, I really hope you hear this. Uh, I did a video. Um, I did a video a week ago, a week and a half ago, a week and a half ago. Um, about starting New Year's resolutions now, about not even having New Year's resolutions this year coming up in January, because guess what? We all have to make a conscious decision. And here's the deal. I'm not not lecturing anybody. Angela, I'm so excited for you to get the book, and I really hope it's helpful. And I'm really cheering you on getting back on the wagon, on the whole food plant-based wagon. I really, really, really am. Um, But here's the deal. This holiday season, every single one of us, especially if we're here in in America or the developed world where, or the Western world where the November, December, January are pretty much standard American diet stuff your face with food that will kill you um, 64 days in a row um, every weekend, every weekday. There's a new party, a new way to uh, to enjoy it. So <laughs> you've got to be prepared, especially this time of year. And so um, I just I would recommend going back and watching that video on um, New Year's resolutions. And here's what I'd say: for so many years, I would kind of eat healthy. I would I would kind of regain my health for a little bit. I'd lose some weight. But then I'd let it slip back to to even eating just vegan food, right? Um, around you know the holidays, and you know everybody's making vegan food for me because they knew I was vegan. Well, guess what? It was just as horrible for me, full of salt, oil, sugar as as all the rest of the food. And uh, what we found and figured out is that right, we can make healthy food tastes just as good without the salt, oil, and sugar, um, especially for people beginning a plant based diet. But I would always do that. Go, 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 go. You know. And uh, gain 15, 20 pounds over a month period and feel horrible. And then I'd have to say, all right, now I've got to regain my health. Now I've got to sit here and figure out what I'm going to do to you know, lose that weight, to get back on the wagon. Well, here's what I've challenged everybody to do this year. And, and I think many have taken it to heart is the fact that this year should be the year that you don't have a New Year's resolution. You make the decision that I'm going to stay whole food, plant-based, oil-free, all holiday season, because guess what? It's not a celebratory meal. If I'm eating that way, eight weekends in a row, three meals, a three meals a week, eight weeks in a row, that's 24 meals or plus, right? So that's not celebratory meal once a month or once every six months, once, you know, that is every single day you can get stuck in that pleasure trap of the holiday season. So I'm cheering everybody stay strong, Be prepared, plan ahead, because if you do, you won't wake up January 4th, 25 pounds heavier than you were November 15th, and um, wishing that you had not gorged yourself on standard American fare. So that's my challenge to everybody here. I've stuck strong. My, you know, my family's doing so great. It was so amazing. And I know I'm, I'm blessed to have it, but I put a lot of work into it, right? Uh, all the work that went into this book was previously done to help my mom, my dad, my in-laws, my sister, my grandparents, my cousins, my friends getting on a plant-based diet. 
And so now that we are, it's great. We get around the holiday table and I'm going to do a video. Um, maybe tomorrow's live stream, I'll cover that in, in depth, is uh, talking about, you know what, how, how that really manifested itself, how it turned out, how that healthy whole food plant-based holiday meal, that Thanksgiving dinner turned out. And uh, I'll just give you a, um, a sneak preview. It turned out really, really good. It was really great. Let's see here. Lisa says, I've craved sweets for years, but after starting the plant-based diet, I no longer have that craving. I was borderline diabetic. Now I'm back to normal. Lisa, that's so amazing to hear. Yeah. You know, as you, as you're on a standard American diet, you're, you're filling your, you're, you're just salt, oil, sugar, salt, oil, sugar, salt, oil, sugar, animal products. And you're just like, what's next? What's next? Now you get back to on a plant-based diet, a healthy, whole food, plant-based diet. Um, you know, it's not so intense and we find that, wow, that, that subtlety of that sweet potato, that subtlety of those roasted carrots, um, those are sweet. I don't need to fill my, I don't need to fill my mouth with, um, and my, my receptors with something that was made in a plant, you know, that's a candy or, you know, cookies. Uh, I can really enjoy a, uh, you know, the subtle sweetness and the subtle taste of these healthy whole plant foods. So I'm glad to hear it. Raul says that was pretty powerful. I'm so glad to hear it. Eric says, thank you for the book. My family is a healthy one. I'm so excited to hear that, Eric. Melissa Ann says, I do not miss animal products at all. It was hard at first because I didn't like single veg. I didn't like a single vegetable. So I had to step outside my comfort zone a lot and even force some new foods initially. But now my diet has so much more variety than it ever did during the, my time as an animal eater. Parentheses, ew, I didn't even like saying that. I, in parentheses. Totally understand it, Melissa Ann. That is amazing to hear. As someone who never ate vegetables growing up and never ate vegetables in college until I adopted a whole food plant-based diet, and now someone who has a vegan vegetable farm where I grow vegan and organic vegetables and I eat and harvest and you know, produce all these wonderful vegetables, it just takes one little vegetable. Then you try another one and, try, you know, before you know it, those four brown dead animal products that were sitting on your plate for 17, 18, 27, 37, 47, 57 years that you built a diet around that, you know, that pork chop, that steak, that fish, those eggs, uh, you know, those four, the four brown foods that, uh, that are slowly killing you and everybody else in the modern, modern world, um, that is quickly developing type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and obesity, right? Built around those four brown foods. As you cut out those four brown foods and you add in healthy fruits and vegetables and diets built around the simple starchy staples like rice, beans, potatoes, oats, corn, quinoa, sweet potatoes, then you notice that I don't even miss those four brown foods anymore because there are thousands of different options and different fruits, vegetables, starches that I can build a healthy diet around. And that is a wonderful place to be. Ian says, instant pot millet and lentils is a believable texture and you add canned dice and crushed bam. I love it, Ian. Love it. Melissa Ann says, I try to eat specifically at vegan restaurants when possible, but when a restaurant like that isn't available, I research ahead of time and plan out what I'm ordering beforehand. If all else fails, plain baked potato and multiple sides with no dressing, side salads with no dressing. Love it. I'm right there with you. That is perfect. And it works out almost every time. Kathy said, sign me up for an ebook. Well, go ahead. And you guys just message me, message me. If you want me to send you the ebook, if you're, you're willing to write that review, that'd be amazing. Uh, it is going to have to be, I should have mentioned it before. It's going to have to be somewhere where you have an, uh, Amazon, um, you, you know, you, you'll need an Amazon and Amazon, uh, whatever they'll put it in there. So Margarita says, um, hello, Margarita. Thanks for tuning in. Sherry says, you cannot believe this price. What is your life for? That is so true. So, so true. Christine says, I ordered four books for my kids. Thanks from Indiana. Christine, you are so kind. Thank you so much. I'm really hoping that they can change some lives. Margarita says, shared. That's so awesome. Beverly says, thank you. Can't wait to get my cookbook. So excited for you to get the book. Again, the plant-based diet for beginners ships out December 10th from Amazon. Apparently it shipped out from Barnes and Noble. I know a couple of people got one today, got some copies. Um, but yeah, if you do get it, please, I would just love a review. If you enjoy the book, you go through it. And you know, if you leave a review and you think it'd be helpful to others as they're looking at Hey, can this book be helpful to me? That would mean the world to me. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, Marion says, Julie, I've been vegan two years and it's still difficult. Yeah, it, it can be difficult. Family, family does not get so much easier, but you know what? When your family goes whole food plant-based and they're kind of a plant-based diet beginners and you can really help them get going, it does make things quite a bit easier. All right. A few more questions. Uh, Sherry says, Julie, yes, everybody's cheering you on, Julie, cheering you on. Uh, Boho says, Sherry, I need an avocado. Yeah, yes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Patrick, Patrick, Patricia says, I can't wait to get my book. I'm so excited for you to get the book. 
Angela says, I try to remember we eat to fuel our bodies. It's not nutritional. If it's not nutritional, don't eat it. That is so, so true. Everyone, thank you so very much for tuning in. Again, the plant-based diet for beginners. I know I, I said it, but hey, it comes out December 10th in a week and one day away from today. The link is in the post below, above to the side um, of where you can check it out on Amazon. You can also get it from Barnes & Noble, Target, anywhere, may, any major seller of books um, in the world, right? We've got Angus and Robertson in Australia, Canada and UK. We've got Amazon. And in the United States, you can, um, you can find it pretty much anywhere major books are sold. So the plant-based diet for beginners is coming out. I just shared the... Um, a lemon poppy seed dressing from the book. I shared that video just this afternoon, just uh, tonight. So go check that out. Again, if you enjoyed today's video, please, and you do get the book, please leave a review. That means the world to me. And then also, if you enjoyed this, you find it helpful, go ahead and tag someone that you think would find it helpful and also give it a share if you think that your community would enjoy it as well. So for today's video, I am Plant-Based Gabriel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. We're gonna keep these live streams up. I had done them for a week and then I had lost my voice for about three or four days and then the holidays came. So, hey, we've got um, seven days starting tomorrow before the release of the book. So let's go ahead. We'll keep it strong going on these live streams. Thank you so much to everybody who tuned in. If you haven't heard it already, I truly do love you and I hope you have a wonderful night. And we will do this again very, very soon. Mm -hmm.